Okay, Assalamualaikum and then Salam Sejahtera. This video is actually to um, to show you how to write an answer for a question for issuance of shares. Okay, I share with you on the left side is the questions of issuance of shares and the right side I will, I will show you how to write the answer. Okay, you may pause the video and read the question first. Okay. From the questions, actually, we need to recognize or uh, which shares or which um, items that has been oversubscribed, meaning that the issue uh, is less than the applications, or we say that application is more than what we issue. Okay, for auditory shares, uh, from the question, we see that three thousand, uh, three million, sorry, three million unit is been issued. And then the applications turn out to be four million and five hundred. So that's for ordinary shares. So we would need to recognize we put here okay, we issue three million. Okay, three million means that we have six zero. Always be careful, and then the applications turn out to be four million five hundred. So we can see the application is more than what we issue. So the excess uh, that we need to refund is one million five hundred units of shares that need to be returned to the applicants so in your uh, journal to be record for ordinary shares first of all we record what is the money that we receive that is bank account okay debit the bank account but the money that you received is um of four million means that you need to have four billion oh sorry four billion and five hundred units a unit of shares multiply with rm the, the price eh? the price of the share of ordinary share that we issued is two ringgit and the cents that you can see in the questions so your bank account should have four million Five hundred, oops, five hundred thousand. Multiply with two point five, so you have eleven thousand two hundred and fifty eleven million. Sorry, eleven million and two hundred fifty thousands. And you credit the count of ordinary shares. Ordinary share applications account this is to show you how many how many uh, the main money that we receive from applicants so debit account bank credit applicants but since we have excess of 1 million and 500 units so you need to refund it to the applicants so you will debit ordinary share applicants account and the amount that you need to calculate is one million five hundred thousand multiplied with rm 250 okay this is the amount that you need to refund to the um, applicants and you need to credit the bank account so because you need to pay to take out the money from the bank and return it to the applicants so three million seven hundred and fifty thousand need to be written to the applicants the okay, next is to recognize 
the issuance of shares to be as share capital so you debit ordinary share applicants and you will credit ordinary share capital okay. the capital ordinary share capital always on the credit side so the amount that you need to um, credit is actually three million set because that is the amount of the number of shares unit of shares that we issued that should be recognized or um, shown published to the accounts so the uh, value of each share is 250 so your amount is Seven million and five hundred thousand for the share capital. So we complete the uh, journals for issuing the ordinary shares. Next is to show the preference share because the uh, eight percent preference shares. Okay, preference shares. Okay, we look into that we issue. Uh, two two million units. Okay, you can see that in the questions that is a two million units of um, with different votes with different two millions. Uh, not nice. Okay, two millions. Okay, two million of preferences issued, but however, it's only. 1,000 a uh, 1,000 1 million 800 that has been ap applied by the applications so there is no access so we can look if you can write on so to show whether you actually true or not so the issue is 2 million 2 million but then the applications is one million eight hundred, and you can see perfect. Say that the application is under from the issue, so the under subscribe. So to record in the journal again, well, we will record the money that we receive from the bank, but uh, this one. We only receive one million eight hundred, so one million eight hundred. Multiply with RM one point five. That is the amount, uh, the price for each preference share that we issued. So we only recognize one million eight hundred. Because that is the amount that we received from the applicants. So, uh, 2 million and 700,000. And we will uh, debit, uh, debit, sorry, and credit 8% proper share application with the same amount, 2 million and 700,000. Since uh, there is no access or uh, uh, access to, to be written to the unsuccessful applications, so the preference share will be recognized as capital to hold amount. So again, we will debit 8% pre uh, preference share applications with the same amount. And in credit, proper share capital with the same amount because we only uh, will recognize uh, 1 million 800 units that we uh, successfully 
so 3d applications now the 200,000 can the 2000 200,000 cannot be recognized because no one buys it okay so in your uh, extract financial positions okay the ordinary shares uh, the number of units okay the sorry about that it's not 4 million so 4 million is actually your rm okay, okay the two uh, the balances from last year is 2 million okay 2 million and the new ones is 3 million so your ordinary shares uh number of units is 5 million because we add the last year balance from last year and this year 2 million add with 3 million and the amount of ordinary shares is 4 million the balance the balance is from last year is 4 million and add with the 7 million and 500 so it becomes 11 million five hundred thousand and the preference share number of units preference share again last year is one million unit number of shares and we successfully issued or successfully um, received the money for one million in the address so we um, issued two million eight hundred units two million eight hundred thousand units of preference share and the amount is one million uh, ringgit add with the new ones is two two million seven hundred so three million seven hundred thousand The reserve, the retain profit is not affected, so you you do not need to show in your extract uh, the answer for your uh, the questions, or you may copy back the reserve retain profits uh, one million and seven hundred and fifty thousand. Otherwise, you do not need to do it. Okay, so that is the answer for the questions. Thank you for watching the video.